Pro YouTube working on this uh, 1994 Dodge uh, Ram. We will apply the same for the second generation. We're working on what we're doing here. And uh, so basically the wipers stopped working. Uh, well, I got this truck like this. Uh, I'm fixing it up. And uh, here is the the part that was installed on this truck. But I got me a, a, a truck for parts. And I pull out this uh, the arm and the, the motor for the uh, wipers. And because I was trying to uh, figure, out, figure out why it wasn't working. Um, and I'm just gonna walk you through what I did uh, to diagnose this problem. Uh, first thing uh, you wanna do is come here to the uh, cabin and uh, make sure uh, this is gonna be the fuse, uh, the 20, 20 amp fuse. It's gonna be the one for the wipers. You can check. Uh, you can check the the cover and it's gonna tell you wiper right there, the 20 amp. And uh, it's gonna be this one. Make sure it's in good condition. Condition. Make sure it works. After you do that, uh, you can uh, put the key in the wrong position. And uh, this is for the wipers. Start the wipers with this right here. You can you can uh, move it. And you're gonna check. Sorry about that. And uh, you're gonna check uh, for uh, 12 volt power. On, uh, on one of these cables that go through here they go through here because uh, the thing with this um, just to give just to give you a better idea what I have to do is remove the wipers uh, the uh, arms for the wipers you see right there and um, but I couldn't uh, take them take them off unless I remove the hood so I have to remove the hood uh, to take out the uh, to remove the to remove the wipers and basically there is a little lock on these things uh, when uh, they are installed they're like this so the, 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 this right here is a little lock but to push the pin so it can free uh, the the arm and you have to kind of wiggle a little bit and you have to put it like this right you have to uh, bend it so it can be in this position and then wiggle 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 until it comes off because uh, there's a lot of teeth right there let me see inside of this part and uh, if it's been there for a long time it's going to be kind of stuck with uh, dirt or debris or whatever is there it's going to be stuck it's going to be kind of hard to remove it after that you have to remove some pins something like this uh, that are holding the uh, the plastic that is covering all this area right here. You have to remove that. After you remove uh, that cover, you're gonna be able to access to the uh, motor and the I'm gonna call it arms for this. Okay, so when you have access to the motor, you wanna you want to uh, look at the at the connector right here and. Um, to remove it, you have to just press this one right here on top, and then you squiggle until it pops off. Same with this one, you have to press this little little uh, clip here, and it's gonna come off. Now this is the ground for the uh, motor, and then you have uh, four four uh, different wires and on, on this connector. One is for the high speed, one is for the low speed. So uh, what you have to do to check if the motor is good uh, uh, don't start the truck just put them the key the key on the running pos on the run, on run position and turn on your wipers when you turn on your wipers you're gonna see if you put it in the high uh, setting you're gonna have 12 plus volts on one wire right here and if you put it in the low position you're gonna have the bolts in, in another wire and like that with the four wires you're gonna see uh, that you having a uh, voltage and all four different wires according to the setting you put on your on your uh, wipers inside the cabin 
that's why uh, if this if you're getting you're getting a voltage here you're getting power here that means the motor is bad so sadly you have to remove all of these uh, you can check if you uh, um, if you peel off all uh, the wires right here the ones that are going in there uh, you can uh, check for the voltage if you're getting voltage up there which uh, again uh, that will be uh, the um, most likely that, that will be the situation uh, again always check first the fuse just in case it's the fuse but if it's not the fuse more likely the problem is going to be the motor again i have to remove the hood and everything so i can access to to this uh wiper uh, motor and uh arms or however it's called this piece i have a i, ha I had a uh, an extra one this is from a 1998 and uh the old one is from a 1994 so the second generation is gonna fit uh, it doesn't matter the year I think it's the same from 1994 to 2001 I think it's the same same uh, parts of oh, most of them and now that I'm here I'm gonna clean a little bit there uh, this is my project truck so I'm gonna clean a little bit under there is kind of uh, well there is a lot of dirt they were using this truck as a as a uh, mud truck so you can tell um, the damage they did to it <laughs> so yeah this is just uh, to show you again uh, if you have a problem with the wipers how can you uh, diagnose uh, if the motor of the wipers is bad or is just use the fuse so double check on that and uh, I hope you don't have to go through this to remove the whole thing if you do get someone to help you to remove the hood. I remove it by myself, but it's really heavy and uh, a single person is just kind of hard to, to work on that. Well, thank you for watching YouTube. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please consider liking and subscribe. Thank you very much.